Okay, we're now going to create a material for the pillar, but this is going to be a little bit more complex than the two materials we made so far because we're going to fade quite a textured look down at the bottom of the pillar into a flat color at the top. So it's going to take a little bit more work. So for that reason, it's very important that we clear the work area first. We're going to create a new Lambert. So I'll create a new Lambert material. I'm going to call it Pillar M. Making sure that I rename things very carefully. And instead of just changing the color, we're actually going to create a connection to a different type of um, node. So if I click on this little checker box here, it will open up the create render node window. There it is. And what I would like to connect to this is a ramp. So I'm going to click on ramp there. And in my property editor, I will get the um, properties for this ramp that I've set up. And you can see at the moment, it's creating a shader that fades from black through to white. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this dot here, which allows me to select the um, white color in this ramp. And I just want to change that color. I'm going to use the slider down to quite a dark gray. Like that. So I'm happy with that. That's a nice dark gray. And then, because I want this dark gray to take up most of the texture on the pillar, I'm just going to move this dot about three quarters of the way along. Maybe about two thirds of the way. And you can see now most of this texture is going to be this gray color with a little bit of the other color at the other side. Okay, so as it stands, we've got um, a texture that fades from black to dark gray, which is okay, and it's more complicated than the texture that we previously created. But we can do a little bit more with it. So I'm going to click on this black dot. And you can see now I'm, I'm working on the, the black color of this ramp. And instead of just choosing a color, I'm going to add a little bit more of a textury effect to it. So I'm going to click on the checker here. So I'm going to make another connection. And it's going to give me a lot of options that I can choose from. I'm going to scroll down in here. And the one I'm looking for is rock. So I'm going to click on that. And now I have um, some options for um, this rock and I can change those to suit my purposes, the, the look I'm going for. So I'm going to change color one to a very dark brown. So it's already fairly brown, but I think I want it a little bit more into the orange side of brown. I'm going to bring this slider down here. So that's a nice dark brown. This is going to represent kind of dirt at the bottom. And then I want to change color two to a very dark gray. I actually want this to be almost black. Like that. And you'll see this is a, an example of how this is going to look um, at the bottom of our texture that we're creating. And what we're going to do then is we're going to apply this to one of the pillars. So I'm just going to move around in my room. I'm going to find a pillar. This one here will do. And it's important when we apply this that we, we look at the bottom because that's where that textury sort of looks going to be. And I'm going to right click on it and choose assign material to selection. You may notice that you can't really see the effect of this. Um, and that's because the current renderer, so the software that Maya is using to preview the scene in this window, um, doesn't show this particular type of texture very well. So we're going to change the renderer to another one that will show it off a little bit better. So I'm going to click on renderer and at the moment it's set to viewport 2.0, which is actually the, the best of the three available. But sometimes you want one of the different ones. So I'm going to choose legacy default viewport, which is actually the worst of the three, uh, but it does show this particular type of texture really well. But you still can't really see what's happening to the texture. And that's because there's one more thing we need to change. At the moment, the texture view that we've got only really shows colors and not um, textures that are connected to the color node. In order to show that, we need to move on to hardware texturing mode instead of hardware shading mode, which is what we're currently at. So in order to change that, we're going to press number six on the keyboard. And now, if we zoom in on the bottom of the texture we've created, you'll be able to see that it looks a little bit textury and dirty um, and a little bit more interesting than the, the gray that was on the other ones. So you can now apply that material to the rest of your pillars. And then we'll be ready for the next step. Lovely.